Hello. Today I'm going to walk you through a demonstration migrating legacy CRM content to Salesforce using Kapow Software's Kapow Catalyst platform. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have populated a CRM source system with sample data including accounts, contacts, and opportunities. To do the flow, first I'm going to run an inventory analysis against my current data so that I can have a better understanding of what is in my existing system. From there, I'm going to use Kapow Catalyst to extract that content, then enrich and transform it before publishing it into Salesforce. So how is that going to work? Let's first of all jump over to my source system. Here you will see that I have some account data, I have some contact data, and I have some opportunities that are related to those accounts. Now just a piece to note here, it doesn't matter what the source system is, as long as this is a web-based application, Kapow will be able to interact with this, extract that data, and transform and enrich it before we load into the new system. If I switch over here to Salesforce, you will see today that I only have my sample accounts that are in the instance. There's none of the data that we just saw in the source system. Now I'm going to switch over to the Kapow Catalyst Management Console, which is our web-based interface for managing and operating your Kapow system. You'll see here there's a simple dashboard, and when I go to the Schedules tab, you'll see that I've created a schedule here for each of the steps in my process. Now I'm not going to run through the inventory analysis and the extraction here because I've already done that, but one thing that I can show you is that if I switch over to the Data tab, here you can see that I've extracted my content out of the source system and actually put that in a database where I can easily view it here in the web browser. And I can sort this data and export it and manipulate it as needed. When I run back to the schedule here now, I'm going to run my process to load this content. And that's going to run. While that's going, I'm going to switch over here to my accounts tab because it's only going to take a second to do this process. And I will hit refresh. And there you'll see that all my data has now been loaded. And you'll notice the creation date, of course, is today's date. If I go into one of these accounts, such as American Express, you'll see that it not only brought over my existing content, but it also populated my custom fields, such as version and use, use case description, and then further within the contacts and the opportunities, if I pick my first contact here, you'll notice that I'm able to do a very powerful transformation. In this example, I've taken their email address, gone out to LinkedIn, and actually referenced their LinkedIn URL. And you can see that I've been able to assign that here to the contact record, along with some of the other information about this contact. So how did that all work? Let me now show you Kapow's Design Studio, which is our client-based application for developing Kapow robots, which are the automated workflows that we use to do this process. Just a little bit of quick orientation here. You'll see this main window in the middle is the Kapow Extraction Browser, which allows me to interact with the website just as if I was a human viewing this in a browser. You'll see here that I have the ability to click around this application. And you'll see that as I click on the steps, all of these objects are exported over here to the side. It's very easy for me to add a new step. By right-clicking in the window here, I'm able to say Extract Text. And here you can see I'm selecting the industry. Once I do that, it moves me to the next step, and you'll see that the value is stored right here in the browser. As you can see, the value in Kapow is in automating the application integration and data migration process rapidly. I went through this entire process, starting from scratch, of building the extraction of Zoho data, the transformation and enrichment of that data, and the loading of that into Salesforce in a matter of hours.